Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and you are watching the Playhouse Build Series. In this video, we are getting the base of the playhouse built. Hope you enjoy. To get started with this build, the playhouse is going to be eight foot by eight foot, which is 96 inches on the sides and 135 inches diagonal. So I'm gonna use a tape measure to mark this out and make sure it is squared up. First corner is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark. Everything else is gonna come off of this piece right here. Now that I have the square base, I'm gonna use the post hole diggers to dig down two and a half feet. This may take a moment. With the first hole dug, I'm gonna dump a little bit of rock in here, help with drainage later in the future. Not a whole lot, just enough to cover the base. And now I can stick the first four by four in here. This is an eight foot four by four. Okay. Now I'm going to level this up and fill it with dirt to keep it in place. Go ahead and get some going just to get it started. Every couple inches of dirt, I'm coming back with a tamping tool and pressing that dirt back in nice and Tight there. Now I'm going to take my level and make sure this thing is level in both directions here. Good on that one. Okay, and now I can fill this hole in the rest of the way and make sure it's nice and solid. It's been a couple days and I am finally back out here to work. I have three posts in here. And to make sure they were the correct distance and height, I put one screw into the eight foot board here to make sure that things were level and square. Um, so now I'm back to the last hole here. I've hit a bit of an ant bed. May have to uh, clear all that away before I continue building. But um, just going to dig down and do the same thing, uh, putting the two boards on the sides and then squaring it up. I measured, I'm a half inch off between this back corner and that one. So it's 135 and a half inch. Um, but I should be able to coax it into square at the last minute. Emma wanted to come down the hill to see me and decided that scooting the whole way down would be the best way. I've got all four posts in now. I'm going to be cutting a notch out of the front and back so that a 2x6 can go here, uh, which means I'm going to cut this at inch and a half in. So inch and a half in and needs to go to uh, five and a half down. So from here up and then inch and a half along the bottom. Okay. So, uh, I'm just going to use the circular saw and probably the Japanese pull saw to complete this. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'll also have to have a mark on the top. so. Let me go ahead and do that as well. I've got my saw set to an inch and a half, which is what I need to cut through here. Let me get my speed square set up as a guide, so it makes it a lot smoother of a cut through here. Using a ladder to help me get through this piece here.
The rest of that, I'm gonna use the Japanese pole saw to get through. So far, I've been using some screws just to keep the boards up here. But I'm gonna be using some galvanized nails to get this thing locked in. I'm gonna use three on each post here. From the end over here, I'm moving out every two feet and placing a mark. And that's where my floor joists are going to be. So I've already placed that mark just to uh, keep track of where things are. I'm just gonna run a line down so that I can oops, uh, match up top and bottom there. As you can see, I have the first one done here. I've got nails and it goes all the way across. I decided to use three here. It should be plenty. Uh, 93 and a half inches from this side to that side. So I need to cut two more of those and that will match things up quite nicely here. Okay, 93 and a half inches here. I like to use a speed square so my cut is square. These boards are just heavy enough to be awkward so I'm using a clamp just on the edge of my line with the lower lip sticking out. And that way I can set the board on there to hold it while I uh, get this up. Okay, got all three of those in. Now, I made kind of a mistake with my measurements. This right here is gonna make this larger than eight foot across. So I really should have this board right here. Um, so to do that, I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, cross bracing done in here. Now I've taken the board off the end, just from the screw that I was using to hold it up. And I've measured between this inner board and the other. And what I've done is cut that board here and I'm gonna be using some strong tie for, uh, I just got the two by four version, but it should be sufficient. And it's gonna be holding the board up like this. And the reason for that is because I need to have this eight foot by eight foot square. And with the board on the outside, it was gonna to be too wide. But with it right here, it's gonna be eight foot by eight foot. And as you can see, these cross boards here are supporting all the, the weight. And that's why I cut this into here so it has that support. And got it. So it looks pretty good. Could be a little bit tighter perhaps, but uh, it's gonna be more than enough for a playhouse. The last step in this video is to install the blocking. I'm gonna do two different sets here. One's gonna be at four foot, give or take a little because I'm gonna offset. And then the next is gonna be here at the um, five and a half foot from the edge because uh, I'm gonna be making a five and a half foot playhouse here. I'm gonna measure from the edge of the last board here, come out to the four foot mark. Mark that, move inside one, four foot again, mark that. And now I just need to see what the distance is between these two marks on the inside. I've got uh, 21 and 3 quarter inch, so that's the cut I'm going to make for this board here. The first set of blocking is done there. Really sures thing is up a lot. Now the next one, I'm gonna be putting a foot and a half this way so that the rest of the building can sit on top of that and should do quite nicely here. And that concludes the build of the base. As you can see, it is solidly in the ground and has all of the blocking installed should be quite strong for a kid's playhouse.
Thank you so much for watching this portion of the Playhouse build. In the next video, I will be installing the two platforms. There's going to be a platform on top, which will consist of decking boards for the front porch and the three quarter inch waterproof plywood that will be where the playhouse is built on top of. And also underneath, I'm going to build a platform that will be level for both playing and for us parents to sit. Also, there's going to be a hammock mount installed. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for the next video in this series. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.